after the 1969 championship season for the Texas Longhorns. They already had been crowned national champs, but there was one game left to play against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and a very, very important, memorable source of inspiration. The three captains went up on Monday to attend the Tuesday MacArthur Bowl trophy presentation in New York. And Coach Royal called the three captains uh, into a room adjacent to the reception and he had just received the news about Freddie. And he said it looked bad and most likely uh, was going to have to have his leg amputated. Well, here we are, we're 21, 22 years old and we're bulletproof. I mean, it just, it, we're on top of the world, can't get any better. And then all of a sudden you've got a guy that you played with and he's fighting for his life and then he loses his leg. We were told, and the doctors very rightfully and uh, understandably said, no, there's no way he would recover fast enough to be at the game. I didn't see any way that he could come to the game to have your leg amputated at the hip. And see how he could do it, but uh, I guess we shouldn't have doubted him. Here's Freddie uh, on crutches with one leg saying, You guys get ready and go out and win this game. Oh, hell, couldn't believe it. Here's a teammate that just went through one of the most traumatic deals you can have. You lose a limb, and then, you know, he's worried about us. <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, that's the kind of kid he was. Texas entered the fourth quarter, trailing the Fighting Irish 10 to seven. At the start of the final quarter, Texas captain Ted Coy broke free to give the Longhorns a 14 to 10 lead. Notre Dame quarterback Joe Theismann would respond, leading his team on an 80 yard touchdown drive to put the Irish up 17 to 14. With 652 remaining, as he had done so many times in his career, James Street entered the huddle to try and lead Texas to another game-winning drive. I remember most vividly the, the confidence that James uh, instilled in us. He just kept reiterating to us that we were gonna do it. It was inch by inch. It was a, a fight in a struggle. We were all getting hammered. I mean, everybody has been hit hard. Well, at that point, I, I had gotten a concussion. I'd gotten knocked out, so I was out of the game. Billy came in. When we were on the one-yard line, and it was third down, and, and my number was called, I just took a deep breath, and I said, don't do anything but go to where the hole's supposed to be. Hold on to the ball and pray the hole is there. And it's first and goal on the two. Billy Dale follows Bertelson in for the score. Texas leads 21 to 17. The scoreboard flashes the message. A winning string of 20 games. A Longhorn football team rules the country for the second time in seven years. We're national champions, and, and that was uh, a feeling that's very difficult to describe. I looked over at all these linemen that we had, and they were all crying. And I was trying to recall some of the most vivid memories of the Notre Dame game. And probably the most vivid one is of Freddie in the locker room after the game when Coach Royal gave him the game ball. Um, very, very memorable. It's hard for me to keep from crying, to tell you, to tell you. I don't know if I tell you how proud I am of you. It'd be kind of, you know, an understatement. Uh, I'm afraid if I talk too damn long, I'm gonna choke up but we've got a guy that we love a lot. Ready, here it is for you. Coach gave him a hug and told him here's the game ball and uh, Freddie couldn't talk. That was kind of the, the icing on the cake. We had won, the national, won a tough game, that gives us a national championship. Now we can give back to Freddie for what he had been through. We won it for Freddie. We won that game for Freddie Steinmark. Great look back there on all the emotions that went into that Cotton Bowl following the 1969 season. Steinmark would pass away in 1971, and Coach Brown made it a point to tell his guys the story of Freddie Steinmark before the start of every season. Now, 
There is My All-American, the feature film that is coming back about the story of Freddie Steinmark that Coach Strong showed his team, special screening of, and you were there. Well, he, sh he showed the team, uh, I think, last last semester. And uh, this past summer, he, sh he showed all the, the freshmen, incoming freshmen, and I was lucky enough to be able to, to be in the theater and, and watch the screening. And, and I, I thought it was important because I didn't know about Freddie Steinmark. You know, Coach Brown mentioned him when, in my senior year, but I didn't know the story and being able to, to watch it and really learn the story was amazing. And, and I think it's important, especially for the incoming freshmen and the players on this team, to really understand the tradition, the history of this, of this institution. And, and I think what a great way to do it. And, uh, Again, I, in a game like this where there's so much tradition, I think it helps them connect to the storied past yeah. of both of, of both universities and, and both programs. And uh, uh, I'm curious to see how much it really inspires them to go out there and, and play. I know when I came here, uh, I felt like I had years of tradition behind me when I stepped onto the field, years of great players before me. Well, that's something that Coach Strong has talked about this season, finding something to bring the guys together, and perhaps they have found it with the story of Freddie Steinmark to the point that the Texas Longhorns will wear his initials on the helmets this season, and we will see those as they open up against Notre Dame, a team that Freddie Steinmark grew up dreaming about playing for. Didn't get that chance to play against them, but his teammates did the job in that 1970 Cotton Bowl. A true underdog story.